President Moon Jae-in plans to push ahead with his administration's key economic initiatives. While speaking to his aides, the South Korean leader appeared adamant on not abandoning any of the policy while highlighting the importance of lending an attentive ear to criticisms. Shin Se-min shares with us his remarks. The backdrop of the government's proposed 2019 budget, President Moon Jae-in's reluctance to drop any of the administration's key growth initiatives. Speaking to a room full of his aides during a weekly cabinet meeting, President Moon stood firmly by the administration's three leading economic policies, income-led growth, innovative growth, and the fair competition initiative, which he said should all move forward as one package. 그 패러다임에서 벗어나 사람 중심 경제라는 새로운 패러다임으로 위기에 빠진 우리 경제를 되살려야 하는 것이 우리 정부가 따는 시대적 사명입니다. 그런 사명감으로 정부는 우리의 경제 정책 기조를 자신 있게 흔들림 없이 추진해 주기 바랍니다. President Moon said the new paradigm is a people-centered economy. And those remarks come amid concerns of a possible economic slowdown combined with a recent eye-watering jobs report and numbers indicating that the income gap is getting wider. Critics have blamed the income-led growth strategy for burdening small and mid-sized businesses with this year's minimum wage hike of over 16 percent and another one next year of over 10 percent. And to that, the president said the higher minimum wage is only part of many other plans to raise household incomes, but explained that he is open to making improvements where the need arises. 물론 우리의 경제 정책 기조를 실현하기 위한 정책 수단들을 더 다양하게 모색하고 부족한 점이 있다면 그 사실을 겸하게 받아들이면서 보완 대책을 마련하는 노력을 게을리하지 말아야 할 것입니다. Despite the depressing economic indicators and harsh criticism of the policy, President Moon is adamant that his plan to revive the country's economy would soon boost the income of both workers and households, ultimately setting the foundation for income-led growth. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.